So I took a break from doing some bigger paintings and I decided to set myself um, a goal of to do a painting in every two weeks. And so far I'm doing pretty good at it. I've, I started this a couple, uh, about five weeks ago and I've got two paintings done. So I'm at about two and a half, uh, two and a half weeks on a painting, uh, which is right where I feel comfortable with it, that it's about as fast as I'm able to produce them right now. I'm still working out how to go faster and to get to the point of the paintings faster without sacrificing, uh, sacrificing the image, sacrificing the quality that I want to see out of my work. Um, I'm still also working through new techniques and I'm working through new ideas of how to create the work uh, that I want to see. Uh, so one of those paintings is, is another skull painting. I've been enjoying doing skull paintings. They, they've seemed to be getting a good reaction too, uh, which is always nice. Um, I mean, I've definitely gotten more social media interaction with with those paintings than I have with some of my past work, um, which is which is cool. It's kind of it's kind of interesting to see what people are, are are interested in, and so it's been fun to to slowly kind of adapt these into my aesthetic and to bring in textiles and to bring in different lighting and colored lighting and um, all sorts of stuff like that. So one of the things that I've started doing um, when I'm working on a painting is finding a story or poetry or, you know, something kind of literature based that I think kind of goes along with what uh, what I'm trying to get across in the painting. So, uh, I really like poetry. I try to, I try to, I try to go that route with it because, um, I see it as kind of like painting with words because you're trying to get across this idea or this image, but it's in a more condensed way, kind of like a still image. So a painting that I came across while I was working on this painting was an Anne Bronte poem called Vanitas Vanitatum Omnia Vanitas. It's a really cool poem, obviously all about, uh, you know, how short life can be and how much uh, we need to take advantage of, of the time that we have. It's, it's very much a carpe diem sort of poem. It's all about enjoying nature and enjoying uh, the time that we have with everybody. Um, and something that I and something that I noticed in the poem was that some of the stanzas are kind of coinciding with images that I had in my head to do. Like for instance, this painting I did of a skull without the mandible. There was a stanza that talked about to snatch the untasted cup away. It just instantly made me, you know, connect to the the poem to this image that there's no, there's no, um, there's no tongue, there's no tasting, there's no chewing, there's none of that. So um, it then made me kind of think of like, well, how can I take some more of these stanzas and create images around them? So I have another painting that I'm gonna be working on soon uh, that has the jaw open to coincide with, it has this kind of, has this kind of look of laughter in it uh, that it's just like this open jawed skull that, that can either look kind of ominous or it has this very, but it can also have this kind of light laughter kind of look to it. Goes along with another stanza in the poem. So I'm kind of seeing the start of maybe a little series of paintings in this kind of style that are kind of based around uh, more of this poem, uh, which is pretty cool. So. I like when things start to start to unravel a little bit and start to 
uh, open up more possibilities for ideas when, you know, I, I already have this idea for a poem and I, or for a painting, and then I find something in a poem that kind of coincides, but then the poem then leads to an idea. I think that's pretty cool. I like, I like the way that that can kind of interact and, and, and create more depth and more of a relationship between the two media. But that, but yeah, that's a little bit about my, my painting Vanitas 2, a revisioning of my first Vanitas painting. If you're interested in the painting, it's currently at Gallery Victor Armendariz in Chicago. So check that out. Uh, check out uh, the images on, on uh, Instagram too, if you wanna see a little more close up. I, I finished another painting too recently, so I'm gonna have a video on that pretty soon. So check that one out. That one's also at Gallery Victor. So if you're interested, definitely check the, hit them up and, uh, and ask about those paintings. Uh, they'll be able to give you all the pricing and all that kind of stuff. Check out that video when that comes out too, which should be like next week or so. Uh, so until next time, do all the like and subscribe stuff or not. That's cool too.